She can't find her calf. Help her take a look. Well, there's little Timmy. Welcome back, folks. What are we doing today? Well, wouldn't be a day on sunny farms during calving season if we ain't cleaning a barn. That's what we're gonna do. My family just sent me a message that we're expected to get about six inches of snow the next two days. What I am happy about is it got pretty cold last night, so the ground's froze. It's no longer sloppy, but just for a limited time. I'm gonna get some feed for the two in the barn, nothing calved last night, and then we'll kick them out, start cleaning that building. in the eye hole. Oh. There ain't perlets in it. That's about one of the oldest cows we got. She was born in 2014. Oh, but she was born in 2013 and she's a nasty sucker. She's about 10 years old. It's a 10 year old cow. But she's raised some fancy Sunny Farms beef. steamy in here.
we got a little bit of room left in here. It's kind of fluffy stuff, so when we put some heavier manure on it, it'll weigh it down. We're gonna hop in the bowl lot and just clean off where they eat real quick, get the concrete all cleared up. Might as well. frozen this morning not sure how this is gonna work just two days ago it was pretty soft scraped a bit of concrete up the top there some sparks flying we're getting deep enough i think Dad's heading down the road with the manure spreader. Nothing calving back here. These were born yesterday. We'll spread that barn lime, shred some bales, then get those calves back in the building. Ellie, I wouldn't stand there. Threw the moms in there so they can eat a little bit more, not poop on our fresh bedding. As you can hear, they don't appreciate it. Calves staying in the nice barn. The showdown. Yep, she agrees with me. 
got a lot of that stuff taken care of. Let's see if we can scrape up some of these other pens, concrete, if it'll work good. And then uh, later today, we got a, quite a few cows out in the big field. They're getting pretty big bags. They're gonna be calving here in the next week. And you know, we got snow coming, so we definitely wanna get those in. So we'll work that whole group, get them up and sort them off. Oh, move, pal. So in this pen we got a mix of home raised cattle and some heifers that my dad bought. Uh, so everything with a yellow tag, of course, that's what we use, so those are home raised. Today's Tuesday, but on Thursday we're going to be sorting off uh, all the ones without tags and we're going to be selling those. And so we want them to, of course, get in the ring looking fancy and it's so muddy. So we're putting a bunch of bedding down. We're doing it every day for about three or four days to try to make sure they're as clean as they can look. down this bunk line while we got the payloader out and then put it away for the day. That's pretty satisfying. constantly get questions and people just genuinely enjoying us saying big old bag time and time again but this is a good example of a big old bag look at that thing look at the mass I feel like if I flick the side of that thing some milk would shoot out of a teat and actually I've seen it a couple times where there's a cow that's laying on the ground and she's pushing hard she's having a calf and there's some milk leaking out now that is a big old bag it's so big Milk's leaking out of that teat. That calf looks pretty comfortable. Got a little hay coat going on. I can't believe nothing's calved in the last like 36 hours. Especially when you got big old bags like that girl over there. Alright, so in just a little bit, cows are finishing up eating. We're going to chase them up, sort off the other ones with big old bags, and they're going to join the group of girls in here that have big old bags. I don't know. There's probably one on my four wheeler. What do you got? About what? I don't know. My song of the day? Yeah! That whole segment. The song of the day is by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Somebody's gonna hate them. I don't care, I like this song. It's called Other Side. Song of the day. I get out of my face. Okay. Guess I needed that the whole time. We got some cold four-wheelers started up. Sounded like glass when you tap on the plastic. Go wrangle up some cattle. Yeah, you'll want to give it a minute. Otherwise, you'll crack your head open, I reckon. Whoa, where are you going?
Fun fact, she was the first heifer to calf two years ago. Something to remember. Bye. goes mm. I bet you she'll do it uh, told you wondering why the insides of my legs were getting cold cattle were licking my seat got slobber all over my crotch I'm gonna squirt two bales of corn stalks into that middle pen with those cattle that are being sold in two days. We gotta feed a couple bales at home with the skid loader. See you tomorrow. Bye, Ellie. Fed a couple bales. I'm pretty surprised we haven't gotten any snow because a week ago it was looking like we had a lot in the forecast, but they keep pushing it back and lowering the amount, and so that is awesome. So we're trying to calve and we're trying to sell some cattle just in two days. So I'm not gonna complain about it. Calves are roaming around. Look at them having fun exploring. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it, and we'd love to see you next time. Have a good one. I just saw this picture on Twitter. Oh man, it's a prime example. You know, that, that thing she's got down there looks like a weapon. That's a full, big old bag. You see that girl? She's calving any, it's not any minute, it's any second now. She's calving. That's a big old bag.